Hey guys, it's me, Stormy, and it's time to talk about the full moon happening in Taurus that's going to be coming October 24th at one degree, just one whole degree of Taurus, and right there in Taurus with this Uranian energy as well. Whenever we get the moon and Uranus together, we're gonna have a shakeup. There's gonna be a little bit of excitement happening. Something unpredictable or unexpected could be happening for sure. Taurus is a Venetian sign and Venus is actually retrograde this month. So interesting time here at the full moon because we could definitely be looking over things that have to do with relationships, finances, value, material possessions, things like that. But also one of the things I think this helps you shake up is if you've been a little bit predictable in your world, Taurus is such a grounded energy and Uranus is not. So it may be saying, hey, you need to shake up just a little bit so that we can be having a different experience, right? Now, one of the things I think is also also really phenomenal at this particular full moon is that it's got a nice aspect to Saturn helping to bring some maturity, bring some grounding to the table as well. So we've got Taurus energy that is an earth energy grounding us down. And we've also got some Saturn energy saying it's okay, these are the right changes, this is, this is a good decision. Pay attention, but this is a good decision, right? So let's talk about the astrology of what's coming up. Now, first of all, at a full moon, what we have is the sun and the moon, but they are opposite each other. So this highlights within us our opposites, right? My needs versus my wants, my this versus my that, right? But the polarities are lit up. They're pulling apart from each other. Usually, this is also going to highlight things in relationships. So again, now we've got this relationship energy floating around. We've got Venus in retrograde. We've got a full moon happening in Taurus, which is all about those that romance, that finance, right? And then we've got the moon who is, first of all, very emotional about inner security, right? Our foundations, but also now in the sense of pulling at polarity level style on our relationships. So when this is happening, we know that we have the opportunity to end something, acknowledge something, or adjust something within our needs and our wants zone, okay? So at this particular full moon, while we're looking at all of this Taurus energy, like I said, being up there with Uranus, don't be surprised, and Venus is retrograde, don't be surprised if you're in a relationship and things get a little testy, right? If it feels like there's a little bit of tension or just surprises, maybe somebody, you find out somebody has spent money incorrectly, or you're wanting to make a purchase or do something like that that you've never done before, right? But what I would tell you is just pay attention attention, evaluate. It's exciting. It's an exciting energy, but you don't want to jump too quickly. You want to make sure that you have evaluated because with Uranian energy involved, you could have something at this moon that seems like an absolutely phenomenal idea. Six weeks from now, you're like, what in the heck was I doing? Or it comes and it seems like a really great idea or you get some money that comes your way and you're like, yes. And instead of holding it and investing it and paying attention to what that money is doing, you spend it and it's just gone because Uranian energy doesn't come to stay, it comes to pass, right? So you want to pay attention at this particular full moon with what you're doing with the resources that may come into your particular world. And I will say too, around relationships, if this does shake up your relationships for the next couple weeks after the 24th, of course, this could just be things that you need to see beneath the surface and that is okay. You need to be as connected to that information um, as if everything was just going hunky-dory. Now, if you are single, this could blow a whole new romance into your life. You just, they come out of nowhere. You're like, what? <laughs> where did you come from? Did you come from the trees? You know what I mean? Like, you don't know. They could just blow into your life. You need to be careful, pay attention, take it slow. We've got our romance planet retrograde. Uranus is not always steady, sturdy here to stay, but it doesn't mean that it can't work. This will depend on your own particular chart. What I'm telling you is Uranus is exciting and it's risky, but he's brief. He is not always long-term. So you just wanna pay attention. Doesn't mean somebody great can't be blown into your life, but pay attention, take it slow if you can. But you know what I mean? When you're dating, especially in the beginning, it just doesn't always all make sense and go according to plan, right? So if somebody blows into your life, please tell me about it in the comment section down below, all right?
<laughs> now, if you are not, if you don't have any of that going on, no relationship crazy going on, no flutters happening over there, this could definitely be hitting your financial life. Like I said, you could have a windfall that comes your way, right? But you could also have uncertainty in your finances, uncertainty in these relationships, uncertainty, um, something that creates a little bit of drama could definitely be coming up at this full moon, but it's coming up because it's time for you to either end it, acknowledge it, or adjust it, right? Whatever it is, this full moon's asking you to make a shift here, okay? So let's talk about a couple of these aspects that are going on. First of all, I do really wanna talk about um, Venus because she's retrograde and she does rule Taurus. Venus is actually going to be opposite Uranus at this particular um, moon. So again, we've got opposites highlighted here. So this is again why I say finance, romance could definitely get a shakeup. But the moon is also opposite Venus. So your emotional life, you may really be feeling this deep need for companionship. You may be feeling this need like there's a something there. There's a something's missing. You need to fill a hole. You need to, something is calling out for your attention. And I will tell you, I would just be mindful not to fill it with drugs, alcohol, or anything else. Um, you know, if that's an issue for you or go oh, food, that's Taurus. We're in Taurus energy. Don't fill it with too much food because you're going to be overindulgent, right? But instead, try and seek out what that Venus energy is actually trying to show you. What is it asking you to relook at? Um, and ask yourself truly, this is moon energy. Are you nurtured? Are you nourished in your emotional life? Are you nourishing those around you? Are you emotionally available to the people around you and to yourself enough to know if people are starving at a soul level, at an emotional level, right? Where does there maybe need to be some fulfillment? And maybe it means you gotta ground down, you gotta let go of or get rid of something in your world so that you have time to be with the relationships, with the project, with the finances instead of just at them, right? So kind of pay attention to how that's showing up. Now, another aspect we've got that we want to consider is that the moon, again, is right there. It's in conjunction with Uranus. So again, some excitement. Um, things could feel a little bit erratic. I wouldn't be surprised if at certain times during this moon or the next four weeks, you go from these feelings of feeling completely isolated and different to really being a joiner. You know what I mean? Uranian energy can definitely be interesting like that. Now, I told you there's a couple aspects to Saturn here that I think are absolutely phenomenal. And one of them is that the moon is in a trine, a helpful pocket of opportunity. That's what a trine is. But a trine can also be wasted because it's pretty easy, you know, so there's no pressure to really jump out there and use it. But the moon's going to be in a trine to Saturn. So this means that you can quite naturally navigate these situations with maturity, right? You're not going to just be out here thrown to the wind, you know, um, having to handle all of these situations and your intuition is shut off and your um, maturity is shut off. It's not like that. You have what you need to navigate these situations at this particular full moon to ride with these changes. Now, there's going to be the influence of Uranus taking this old traditional you, this old traditional set of values, this old traditional um whatever you have in your life and it's going to be trying to break that down a little and instead of being afraid of it instead of being afraid of the tension instead of being afraid of the uncomfortable instead of being afraid to shift and move forward and move towards that joy i think saturn says it's okay it's okay to be scared. It is okay to cry. It's okay to be so damn happy. It's okay to be sorry that you're not sorry. You know, like Saturn gives you this beautiful perspective at this full moon with these strong instincts that you have that it is okay to shift, adjust, and move forward. So, the shifts around home, family, relationships, and finances 
invite them. If there are issues, it needs to come up so that they can be adjusted, right? And sometimes, I do want to point this out, sometimes the only real issue we're having is that we're holding ourselves down, right? And I need to adjust. I need to be willing to step outside of my comfort zone, outside of my box, and move forward. So at this particular full moon, look at where you need to ground down and be present in your world, and maybe also look at where you need to lo loosen your foothold just a little bit so that you can use that Uranian exciting energy to move something a little bit forward, okay? It'll all, of course, depend on where this is actually falling, happening, and what else it's interacting with in your particular chart. So if you need help sorting that out, come visit me at stormygrace.com. You can get a reading. You can find out all of the details about that in the description box down below. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and please share with me what's happening for you during the month. As this full moon comes around, what is your experience? What epiphanies, what revelations, what insights are you having? What are your actual lived experiences? I love to hear about these things, and I will certainly share some of mine with you as well, okay? All right, you guys, I love you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.